got the winches on the front and the back of the Humvee, but I didn't have any toe straps. So I stopped by O'Reilly and picked up a few different kinds just to make sure I'm covered. Got a buddy of mine whose house was hit. All of his belongings were sucked out his window. So I've got a TV in the back here. We're going to give that to him, help him out with some trees, and help out with anybody else on the way there or on the way back if they have a need.
Hey, where's Dan? Dan. We should grab this. Leave this on the roof over here. Okay, I don't know if there's any way I can get around. Maybe I have to go back out. Yeah. They don't think you need to pull anything, so. Uh, where are you trying to get? Yeah, let me back up. Right where the animal is. Right where Dan is. Go to the front of the house. Okay. I got you. Sorry, I'll move. Hey, buddy, I'm actually in the alleyway. Is that a bad place to be? Uh, right behind the house, I guess. I've got a, I've got my Humvee, and I can pull some stuff, heavy stuff, if there's a way to. Okay, uh, there's some trees across, so I probably can't. So I'm probably going to have to back up. All right. So should I make it around to the front of the house? Which side am I on? What? You are okay. Well, let me just get out and find you, so I see where to go. Okay, bye.
hard to tell who essential personnel is and who's just trying to get to their home and what people are just out looking and that kind of clogs everything up a bit it makes getting around very difficult so really if, if people don't actually have business in the neighborhood helping someone out cleaning up and they don't live there they really should not be there it really slows down an already very slow process 